Before signing the Declaration of Independence, Benjamin Franklin lived in London from 1757 to 1775. In 1998, conservationists were repairing his London home so that they could turn it into a museum. While making these repairs, they found a secret room in Franklin's basement that had over 1,200 pieces of bone buried in it. These bones belonged to over 15 human bodies that dated back to Franklin's day, six of which were children. Now, this probably isn't as bad as it looks. To understand why, we need to understand some laws and public perception regarding anatomy at the time. During this time, the ethics behind studying anatomy were considered murky. Since it was extremely difficult to obtain bodies to study legally, many anatomists turned to grave robbing. Ben Franklin was living at the time with his friend William Hewson, who studied anatomy. It is believed that Hewson held an anatomy school in their basement, then buried what was left of the bodies they studied in the secret room. Franklin was most likely aware of these classes, but it is not believed that he participated directly in them. Looks like our founding father on the $100 bill was most likely not a serial killer.